go over here. Let me show you the beginnings of this. Now, hydroponics, there's no, there's no soil, there's no bacteria. So, we start off with these sterilized foam cubes, very clean, no bacteria. And I'll sprinkle seeds in there. These happen to be a lettuces, and everything is labeled. So, in a few days, the lettuce sprout. And we put them here in the nursery, and they grow in about two weeks to something like this. Now, th these are scallions. Okay, and how I follow the time and I see how it's going. This was seeded on the 17th and today's March. So these are actually about three, over three weeks old. And they're big enough to put into the systems. So this is how we begin it. Also, all my seeds come from the Netherlands, Europe. In Europe, they grow food that tastes good. They shop every morning. They don't even have refrigerators, a lot of them. They buy fresh every morning and the food they grow tastes good so I buy my seeds from there I import the seeds very expensive but it produces a product not available in the local stores so we'll take this plug we call it and we'll plug it into our systems and I have different systems I'm always experimenting Plant. let me show you this here is a lettuce of course called a red leaf and how it works is you can see how clean and pure this is. Those white roots, you can smell it. It, it smells like earth. That's but amazing. It, I mean, it's just a really healthy smell. We don't spray anything in here. We're protected from the bugs, the rain, and the winds. So we grow a perfect product. This isn't touching any manures or, or any soil with bacteria. So you can eat the whole thing. So this here is about five weeks old. And because it's been cold, uh, they're slow growing. Now that it's warming up here in Florida, we're in uh, March now, they'll be growing faster and faster. So you can see the different varieties. People like different colors of their lettuces. These are all um, new varieties that the seed companies develop, and I try them. So, and you can see these are almost ready to be sold. The heads, they're getting this size. And when they get, maybe they need another week. There'll be a nice, big, tight head. And uh, we sell these at the farmer's markets all over here, central Florida. So come on over here. This is one type of system. This here I call, and, and I've developed this, a vertical system. You can see in this space, I can grow about four times more than I can here. That's horizontal. This is how it's normally grown on tables. Oh, flat, but it's a waste of space. So I built these vertical ones, and we can get four to five times more product in the same area. So, John, come on down here. This is my wife's herb section, because people, to, to have herbs, now herbs are grown organically in manures, but these, this is an arugula. You can see this touches nothing. It's very clean, no bugs, a nice root system. And uh, it'll get big. I mean, when it gets to a certain size is when we bring it to market. So we have different plants in different stages growing all the time. Down here, there's, you know, just some more lettuce. It's just varieties, different varieties. Uh, the most important that people know is Boston Bib. And these will be sold this week. And how we do it is we'll pull it out of there, trying to pull as much roots out as we can so it's still alive. And that's a nice tight head of Boston bib lettuce and uh, we'll sell that at the market and we sell a lot of them. This is just something that we believe everybody should be eating but uh, it's been a long uphill battle you know trying to introduce this but that's business. So, so watch your step. This is a farm. It's you know you can trip. This, this right. is got to be careful. But you, you understand the system though, John, what I'm trying to, sh what it is, and I didn't say this, there's a uh, tank, some tank over there. So where uh, the pump and the timer comes on, and it emits the water here, flows down the tube, of course, and waters and feeds the plant. So we're actually recycling our elements. A lot of people could see this video, and I, I love encouraging people to support local farmers and also maybe even to grow their own food. Do you have any words of wisdom for people as far as buying from local farmers or growing their own things? Well, most of our food now in the United States, uh, California does a good deal of growing 
Florida does some growing. They're doing less and less because of development and everything else. Uh, most of our food is coming from Central and South America. First, uh, the American companies move there because labor is so cheap and there are no rules to follow. So now we're importing our food from other countries and we don't really know how it's grown and we'll never see how, what's done to it exactly. until it's put on yeah. the store shelf. When it's on the store shelf, it's already a week old, maybe two or three weeks old. We have no idea how fresh it is. Not very fresh, usually which is why it's packaged in plastics and, and wraps and everything yeah. and frozen at 33 degrees. And this all helps kill the nutritional value of the food that we eat. So I suggest to people that find out their local farmers markets, which in the north in the winter time is almost impossible, hard to do. Yeah. But down here in Florida, we have year round uh, farmers markets. We go to about 10 of them every week. And we're in East Central Florida along the East Coast from West Palm Beach all the way up to Titusville here in Brevard County. So for them to think and, and are concerned about what they eat, the farmer's markets, and, and talk to the farmer. And, 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 and ask them how they grow this and what they use. And they'll be happy to tell you they're proud of what they do. Yeah, farmers work very hard. Yes, and they have a pride food. in doing this. Absolutely. It, it's hard to get up at 2 in the morning, you know, when it's freezing out, make sure you, you know, it's not a regular job. It's 24-7, uh, and you can't go too far away or things happen. <laughs>